In this lab, we're going to look at 3.2.12, where we are going to install some SATA devices. So we're building a new computer, and the customer has purchased two serial ATA, or SATA, hard drives for his computer. So what we need to do is look at the motherboard documentation, find out where the SATA connectors are, install the hard drives, connect the correct power, and the other cables, and then boot into the BIOS. So what we want to do first is jump into the motherboard, zoom in here, and click on the motherboards, and then click on the eye so that I can see the documentation. Now let's make this bigger. And if I scroll down, right here, I see the SATA connections. Now one thing to be aware of, so it's at location 8, but when you plug it in, you need to always start with one then go two, three, four, five. You have to go in order. You can't skip spots. So if I scroll back up and find location eight, I can see eight is down here in the bottom right. Okay, so now I can dra grab my drives and get those installed. And what I need to do first is click on these little rotational arrows and switch over to the drive base. And now I can click on storage and drag my drives over and put them in this bottom section into the drive base. Well, I'm here, I'm gonna zoom in a bit more so I can see the connectors in the back and I'm gonna go ahead and just connect my cables while I'm here. So I have my SATA cables. I'm gonna drag the one over and select my end. And I'm gonna drag the other cable over and select which end I'm going to do. Now, the other thing that we can do while we're here is connect the power. You'll notice there are a couple of different ways to get there, but one easy way is right underneath the double arrows, you can see the connection icon, and it has a line through it, meaning that there are some broken connections or available connections. And I'm gonna click on that, and I can see the different connections that need to be that still have availability. So I'm gonna, going to just choose my power supply from here and scroll down and find the SATA power connectors. And drag one over, plug it in there, and I'll drag another one and plug it into that drive. So now we have the drive all connected. I'm done looking at the drive bay. Next thing I need to do is go back to the motherboard and I see my SATA connectors down here. And what I can do is, again, if I I'm zoomed way in so it's a little harder to get to, but I can click on my connection link and choose the cable. And now I can grab my end that's not connected and plug that into spot one. Come back up, hit my connection icon, choose the other cable that's not connected and drag that down to slot two. Okay, so now I have the motherboards installed, or not motherboards, the, the hard drives. I have, and I have power connected and the SATA cable connected. So the next thing it said I needed to do was boot the computer into the BIOS to verify that they are detected. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the front so that I can power it on. And I also want to make sure the monitor is powered on. So down the monitor at the bottom right, hit the power button because it had been turned off. So now when I hit the power button on the front, as it's booting up, I pressed the delete key on my keyboard. I think with this computer in these labs, you can also do F2, but I always just hit the delete key. Now when I look at the system information and I can scroll down, and I can see that I have my two SATA drives connected up and ready to go. That should be the end of the lab. We'll score it up real quick and see. Yep. Thanks for joining me.